Let's take a look at how you can um, open a file in the Windows operating system. So one of the problems with the Windows operating system is that a lot of people really have no clue where their home folder is. So let's start by um, making sure that we know how to navigate to our home folder. So I've got the Windows Explorer open right here. And I'm going to click on my C drive, which is uh, uh, under listed under this PC and if I look at the folders on the C drive let's go ahead and expand that out I can see that one of the folders that's here is one called users and this is where your user folder is going to end up being you'll probably end up seeing several user folders in here um, and one of them there's no particular name for your user folder but um, there should be one of them that corresponds to the actual name of your computer. My computer is called Steve Bootcamp. So if I click on that, now I'm actually seeing the contents of my user folder. And so one of the things you can see is that inside the user folder are some of the sort of fake folders that we think are separate things, but are really just subfolders of our user folder, like documents and downloads and desktop. So if you save documents, if you save files in documents, downloads, or desktops, really they are just subfolders of your home folder. So I've created a folder here called data. Let's go ahead and, and see what's in there. So this folder called data has just a single file in it uh, called biostatsemployees.csv. And this is the one that we are actually going to want to open up using our script. So if we go to the uh, Jupyter Notebook navigation screen, um, by default, the Jupyter Notebook uh, uh, file screen opens up on your home folder. So if I look here, I can see, oh, here's all the familiar things that are in my home folder, desktop, documents, downloads. And then here is the data folder that I mentioned. So the script that I'm actually running is this one called filetest.ipynd, and I have it open already here. So it's a very simple script, but um, let's take a look at it and see what it does. So in the first cell here, I just have the import statement for opening pandas, which we're not really going to talk about. Uh, it's not the top, so much the topic of this um, video. But um, also take a note, notice that um, I imported the OS module, and we saw in a previous lesson that the OS module has a function called getCWD, and that's the one that we care about right now. So the getCWD function does not take any arguments. It just uh, is, uh, has empty parentheses, and but what it does is it uh, passes that as its return value, the a string, which represents whatever the current working directory is. And if we launched this Jupyter Notebook from our home directory, which we did because here it is in my home directory, then our current working directory should be the home directory. So let's go ahead and run this cell and see what happens. Okay, so here we see the path starting with my C drive down into my uh, user directory. And then within my user directory, here's that Steve Bootcamp, which is, uh, that is my actual user directory. Um, and then, uh, so the folder that we created to put the data in is called data. Um, one thing that may be a bit confusing for Windows users, the, the typical thing uh, to separate parts of the file path for Windows is a backslash. But for Linux, which is what Python uses, it's a forward slash. That's fine. If I, if I uh, save the working directory, it will be able to figure out that the backslashes should actually be forward slashes when I concatenate this here. So um, one of the reasons for not just hard coding this whole part of the path in here is that if I decided that I really didn't want to have this uh, notebook or the data folder in my home directory, I could put it somewhere else. And as long as the data folder is a subfolder of wherever I put this Jupyter Notebook, then when I open the Jupyter Notebook, the working directory will have the path of what, wherever I opened it from. And so as long as 
the data folder is a subfolder of that, we should be good to go. So I'll concatenate this first part of the string, the working directory, with the part of the string that leads me down to the file that I want to open. And then I'll just pass that path in as the argument of the pandas read underscore CSV um, function. And that then will create a data frame, which is called DF bonus. And then in this cell, I'll have it show me the first five lines. So let's go ahead and run that. We see it didn't have any complaints. Now let's have it uh, read the first five lines. And we can see that it was able to successfully open the file. And it's showing me uh, the contents of the first five lines. So we did it.